Guys, what are we baking today? Daddy's cake. Why are we baking Daddy a cake? Because it's his special birthday. Is it his birthday Look, soon? I did it. Thank you. Wow. So yeah, we've been making some. I do it. Hang on, let me get the sides. We've cake. been making some white cake because we're gonna celebrate Daddy's birthday a week early. Because we're gonna be in Toledo next weekend on his actual birthday. So we're celebrating him a little early with my family. Okay, here is the cake. Just boring, plain vanilla. So I wasn't going to make Anthony a cake for his birthday because he doesn't like sweets and cakes and things like that. But it's really for the kids and my family. They all want cake, <laughs> so we're making a cake. But I'm coming at you. This is about to be the most busy day in a very long time, um, which is crazy because a week ago, last Sunday, I had the most boring Sunday ever, and now this is about to be the most crazy Sunday ever. We are fitting in so many things today. I hope we can get to it all. So this morning, we um, made a cake. I need to put it in the oven right now so that it will cook. Um, because why are we making a cake at 8 in the morning, you ask? Because we have so many other things to do, and I don't have time to make a cake. Let it sit before I can frost it to get it ready in time for tonight. Let's see. You have to put it in for 34 to 38 minutes. How long am I supposed to put that in for? Like 37? No, 36? 36. We'll do in the middle. 36. Okay, let me put this in real fast. Okay, so I have that cooking. That's good. I have little Miss Avery over here, and she's just talking up a storm. <gasps> Avery Bryn. <gasps> Hi, baby. Hey, look at that. Are you just over here talking, talking? Okay, Are you going to talk? Hi. You guys, I don't know what happened. This whole week, she's been like a werewolf and been grumpy and crying and wouldn't even smile and just miserable. I thought there was something wrong with her, but I think she's literally just teething. And then the past couple days, she's been back to herself. She's been smiling and cooing and talking and just being happy girl. Are you just being happy? Yeah. Yeah, you. Oh, you're skydiving? Go, Avery. <laughs> so I've got Avery on the floor just making all kinds of racket. And then I've got my taste testers here. <clears throat> Me love taste testing. What do you guys think? Does it taste good? Yeah. Yeah, what does it taste like? It tastes like. Vanilla chocolate. It looks like vanilla banana cake. Vanilla banana cake? Yeah, vanilla mm. banana cake. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's Avery over there. Anyway, telling you about our day, we have a very busy day. We are going to go to our local zoo every October. They On the weekends, they set up this cute little trick-or-treat at the zoo. They call it Boo at the Zoo. And kids come, they wear their Halloween costumes, and then there's like seven stations around the zoo. You go up, trick-or-treat, you get a piece of candy. I take the kids every year to this. Usually I go to, with my sister, Allison. This year I am replacing Allison with my husband Anthony because my sister Allison recently had her baby and she's not comfortable with going to the zoo with her young baby. Totally get that. So Anthony has to go now, which I'm sure he's thrilled about. So we are going to do that this morning. They have a cute little, like I said, trick-or-treat trail and then they have... Um, like an indoor section where somebody carved like a million pumpkins. So I think we're going to go and look at that, do all that this morning. Then Grayson got invited to his second birthday party, which is wild because I didn't think he had that many friends, but apparently he does. We got the invitation last minute because they accidentally sent it to the wrong kid. So we didn't know about this party until like Thursday. 
but we're gonna fit it in we're only gonna go to about an hour of the party because after that then we're going to the pumpkin patch and we're picking our pumpkins which we have to go early to the pumpkin patch because the pumpkin patch closes at four so we're going at 3 30 hang on grayson has something else to say and we'll always start annika's birthday party yep that's at two Two. Mm -hmm. And then afternoon or morning. In the afternoon. I'd be two in the morning would be very early. Two. So we got her this little gift. I just got Legos. I feel like Legos are a safe bet at this age. And I got a gift receipt. So hopefully that's good enough. So yeah, and then we're going to the pumpkin patch, picking out pumpkins. We're gonna meet my family there. And then we're going out to eat to celebrate Anthony's birthday, hence why I need the birthday cake. So very busy day and we're gonna try to fit it all in which is why i'm making a cake at eight in the morning and hopefully the kids are good this is gonna be avery's first time to the boo at the zoo she's been to the zoo before but boo at the zoo so i gotta put the kids in their costumes get them all ready and then anthony is gonna be in charge of the kids while i take grace into this birthday party it's at a trampoline place so it sounds like pretty fun don't know if i'll be able to record any of that but um, yeah, we just have a really, really busy Sunday. So, um, hope you guys are enjoying your October. Hopefully, you are doing some fun Halloween-inspired events. The closer we get to Halloween, the crazier it gets, it feels like. Here we go. We're going to go to the zoo first. We're at the zoo. Here we go. We're going into the zoo. It's a little chilly. Oh, <laughs> are you excited? Go ahead. Say thank you. You guys gotta find some pumpkins. Find some good ones. We gotta find three. One for Porter, one for Grayson, one for Avery. We gotta find a big enough one that Avery can sit in. <laughs> Did you find one? Oh boy, are we gonna make it? We got a cart full of pumpkins. Okay, I'll oh boy, we found our pumpkin! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a little windy, a little chilly. Are you What is it? Let's try not making too much of a mess, boys. Oh, it's a package to Kelly. <laughs> 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 we need a new one. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anthony. <laughs> hey guys, it's actually the next day. <laughs> I was able to get a couple clips throughout the day yesterday, but I did not have the time to pull out my camera and like actually vlog. It was that busy of a day, but it's the next day. I actually have Avery in her high chair. I don't even think I told you guys. We went and got a new high chair for Avery. So let me show you guys. Avery, Avery Brynn, are you in your high chair? <gasps> Hi. <laughs> what do you think? So this is the IKEA high chair. I probably told you guys, but we threw out our old one when we moved here. 
and I knew I was we were gonna have to buy a new one and this is only $30 from Ikea so Anthony and I went and got it the other day and she actually tolerates it quite well she likes it a lot better than the car seat and I put it right by our window to our backyard and she loves just looking out the window huh it keeps her very entertained while she eats which helps what are you playing with look what is it the, kid, the kids got these halloween slinkies this one's kind of falling apart at uh when we went to boo at the zoo yesterday and they like playing with them huh yeah, Avery, oh gosh, I need to wipe her chin. She is loving her high chair so that she can look out the window, huh? That's pretty nice. Oh, and we got some more entertainment. Whether Avery wants it or not. Going back to yesterday, it was such a busy, busy, but productive day. We started off with the zoo, and we were there for about an hour and a half. It was like the perfect amount of time. All the kids were amazing at the zoo. Hardly any of them cried or made a peep. Avery didn't make a single noise the whole time. She actually even fell asleep during some of it. And they had like different trick-or-treat stations you could go up to and get candy. Or they had like non-candy toys, which are like these slinkies. Or they got little mini skateboards. And there were lots of kids there dressed up. We saw lots of Mario and Luigi's, which if you saw my clips, you will see that my kids are Mario and Luigi for Halloween and Avery is Princess Peach. Probably couldn't see that too well because we had her bundled up because it was a bit chilly yesterday. But yeah, she's going to be Princess Peach. And yeah, the kids loved it. It was nice to walk around a little bit and we had a good time. And then we raced home. We made the cake like I showed you guys, so we were able to frost it, and that was all good to go. Then I took Grayson to his friend's birthday party, which was at this, like, trampoline bounce place. I had actually been there once before for a workout class, so I was familiar with it. Grayson loved, loved it. They bounced for an hour, and then they sang happy birthday. We actually had to leave um, before the party was over because we had to jet off to get to the pumpkin patch before the pumpkin patch closed. But Grayson had a good time. There were, like, it was a little girl's birthday party, and she invited, like, all girls and then two boys, Grayson and one other boy. And Grayson and this other boy just played together, like, the entire time. <laughs> they didn't really play with the girls, which was kind of funny. But it was cute. It was a nice short little party. Grayson loved it. And then we raced to the pumpkin patch. Well, we raced home, picked up Porter, Avery, and Anthony, and then we went to the pumpkin patch as you saw in my clips, we picked out pumpkins. Porter picked out the biggest pumpkin he could find. Grayson picked a relatively small pumpkin. And then I was just looking for a pumpkin for Avery that she could fit in. I'm going to cut leg holes for her and put her in a pumpkin and get a picture of her. I've done that for both of my kids. And I plan on doing it for Avery too. So I'm not sure when we're going to carve pumpkins, but that is on our to-do list. Um, then after the pumpkin patch, we went out to dinner and celebrated Anthony's birthday, which this is his birthday week. I need to wrap his present, which I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is because Anthony's just in the other room and I'm sure he can hear me talking. So you guys will just have to wait and see. And yeah, so it was really nice. All of my siblings got together except for one. We were just missing my sister Kelly. So it was really cool to get us all together, especially my brother since he lives in Cincinnati. We don't usually see him very often. So it was really nice to have us all to get together. Um, my, it was my sister's first big outing with her newborn baby. So, well, she's not even newborn anymore. She's almost a month old. So it was fun just getting everybody together. We got some, I got a video or two and we got some pictures. Um, we got a picture of like me and my sister and our two babies, I'll input that here. Um, Avery still looks huge compared to Allison's baby Ivy. But it was really fun to all get together and celebrate Anthony. My parents got Anthony a muscle massager, which the kids were having fun <laughs> trying that out last night. I think I got a Snapchat video of that. I'll input that here. Say something. Say hello, Dad. Hello, Dad. <laughs> How are you, Grayson? I'm great, but why is it that i Does it sound a little weird, Grayson? Yeah.
Do you want to sound weird, Porter? Mm-hmm. All right, let's put it on your back. I did one there. That did go. And then um, my parents also got him a new Keurig machine because our Keurig machine we've had for as long as we've been married. So seven years, seven and a half years. No, just seven years. And it is, it was on its last leg. Like you couldn't even like close the Keurig machine to have it work without like pulling something forward. And yeah, it was just, it was just old. So she got us a new one and it's fancy and does iced coffee in five different sizes. And I don't know, we really like Keurig machines. So we're just stuck with the Keurig. And then that was it. We came home and put the kids to bed and and then that was kind of it for the day. So, um, yeah, so Mama. we are, now it is Monday and we're just back to the weekday. Anthony's working, Grayson's at school. He'll be home in about an hour. Um, and then oh, we've, I've just that. been hanging out with the little two. Tomorrow we go back to the helmet place. Cranial Technologies is what oh, it's called. And we get an update on Avery's head shape and how that's doing. And they'll make adjustments Mommy. to her helmet. Um, yesterday marked a month of Avery and her helmet. When we first like <gasps> got quoted how long she would be in the helmet, they said two to three months. So we might be halfway done. <gasps> we might have a little bit more than halfway to go. But hey, Mom, I'm very interested I to see how that glove. is. I found my glove. Oh, good job, Porter. Also, tomorrow is Porter's picture day at preschool. So I got to pick out a cute outfit for him to wear so he can smile good for pictures. So always something going on. And then, of course, I'm um, ramping up to celebrate Anthony's birthday. It's on a Saturday uh, this year. Then, so then, that's exciting. Then, I was telling him we should, like, go bowling with the kids. He loves oh, to go bowling. Then, but we're going to Toledo to visit his parents. So we'll see if we do anything fun or if we just hang out at his parents' house. But. Yeah, that was kind of our day. It was super busy. I recorded what I could, but it was busy. This is all the candy they got from Trick or Treat at the zoo, and Porter's just been wanting to eat all the candy. But we gotta wait till lunch, okay? Oh, Let's not yeah. spoil our lunch. You didn't even eat your waffle for breakfast. I just oh, one bite. Okay. Hey guys, so it's been several hours since that last clip. The day just got away from me and now it's nighttime and I'm in my comfy clothes and all the kids are in bed. So I just wanted to close out this vlog. Um, I thought maybe we would do exciting things today, but today just kind of felt like an off day. And so, I don't know, just did a lot of folding laundry and picking up things and Avery like hardly napped today so I was just trying to like juggle three kids it's always a lot harder when she's not napping consistently or is really upset so it's harder on those days to get the camera out but I feel like this is the longest vlog ever or just like I can't ever end it. So I'm ending it now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite fall activity is. I definitely think we are checking all of the fall activities off our list. Really all I think that's left are carving pumpkins and then trick-or-treating on Halloween. So we are definitely getting there. Um, but thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.